State lawmakers have a lot to decide about the future of Texas public education. On one hand, the governor wants to increase school funding as an incentive for districts to reduce property tax rates. On the other, he is aggressively pushing school choice, something critics say will siphon money away from public schools. Fox 4's Alex Boyer followed a discussion today with the head of the Texas Education Agency and joins us live. Alex. Hi, Heather. You know, the TEA commissioner spent about three hours today testifying before the uh, Texas House Committee on Public Education. Uh, there he talked about teacher pay, uh, the struggle for first year educators, and also discussed how school vouchers could ultimately impact uh, public school funding in the future. Testifying before the Texas House Committee on Public Education Tuesday, TEA Commissioner Mike Morath said every year the state is having to hire approximately 35,000 new public school teachers. Morath said data shows many first-year teachers aren't well equipped to help students excel in the classroom. If you really want to see student achievement go up, you got to do something with the level of preparation that happens for teachers in their first year. The findings were part of a recent report generated by Governor Abbott's Teacher Vacancy Task Force. The 46-member group comprised of teachers and school leaders made recommendations to help with teacher retention and success in the classroom. The report includes expanding the allotment for the mentor program and implementing a full-year teacher residency program. Rath also briefed the committee on possible changes to the STAR test amid complaints from parents and some teachers that lesson plans are too focused on teaching to the test. So as opposed to testing once at the end of the year, um, maybe three smaller tests uh, that you would do throughout the course of the year. About 40,000 students enrolled in public school districts statewide are taking part in the pilot program. Thus far, Morath said the feedback from students has been positive. That might be a fruitful thing to consider um, as a long-term change. The committee also discussed a hot-button topic of school vouchers, one of the options being considered under the umbrella of school choice, a priority among the state's top Republicans. Is there a number of the amount of that voucher is going to be? I've heard several. School vouchers are the state-sponsored scholarships for private schools that historically have failed to gain majority support in the legislature. Many rural Republicans oppose vouchers due to a lack of private schools in their districts and therefore the need to preserve public education in their communities. This session, a Republican state senator in Galveston filed SB 176, which could become the most expansive piece of school choice legislation in the state if it were to pass. It would create an education savings account program for parents to use on a variety of different school options. Democrats oppose the measure, too, as it would take state dollars away from public schools. Morath says there is no telling how big the demand could be. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I haven't been listening to the streets on this particular topic. Uh, I think ultimately it's like what this body would decide. And on that topic of school vouchers, uh, Vice Chair Allen also asked uh, Marath if things like uh, uh, transportation uh, to these private schools could be something that parents get reimbursed for. Also, Marath added that, of course, it's ultimately up to whatever the legislature decides. Back to you. Got it. All right, Alex, thank you.